congratulations. Congratulations seems to be too easy to say, too easily said in expressing the enormous gratitude for the many years of service you've given to Pottstown. Those of us who served with you understand the demanding pressure put on you during your tenure of service with the borough. Good leaders, always the target of small-minded know-it-alls, are best served by their own quiet demeanor, their big picture view, and their dogged determination to arrive at a just answer. In thinking about you and these words, I thought back to my own grandfather, Andrew Bray Downey, who I revered as my mentor when I was young. Grandpa was a sage who talked with me while performing carpenter skills on small furniture items that he designed. He made inlaid tops for tables, which took a lot of time with fitting and cutting and then attaching the pieces to form some geometric pattern. To me, he was a teacher who was always a carpenter. Seems to me this sounds like you. Maybe the similarity to my grandpa is why I've been drawn to you ever since I met you. In all reality, wasn't there a young man who traveled to Middle Eastern lands some 2,000 years ago who was also a teacher and most likely knew carpentry since his father was a carpenter, and it is his story that has affected the world ever since? No, I'm not saying what you're thinking, except that there must be some synergy between building and then teaching others how to build. Maybe it is the measuring twice before having to only cut once that makes a person more decisive and more self-assured like you. In keeping with our country's founders, the legislators were always expected to serve in their elected position for some period of time and then return home to their land or job. I believe in these traditions and I believe you do too. As time moves on, so must others move into positions of responsibility. You've set a strong base for others to build upon and Pottstown applauds you. As Grandpa used to say, a good job is its own reward and a job worth doing is a job worth doing well. Again, congratulations and respectfully, Ronald C. Downey. Mr. Downey wanted to be here to read that, but as you know, um, for health reasons, he was unable to do so. Right.